morning everybody today we will discuss in compulsory english grade 9 unit 1 current affairs and issues we will discuss on writing parts let's see on writing one today i have collected two questions from writing one and only one question from writing two let's see the first question write paragraphs on importance of traveling in our life let's see a sample of writing a topic is importance of traveling Traveling is an essential experience that can broaden one's horizons and enrich their life. There are many reasons why traveling is important. Firstly, it allows individuals to engage themselves in new cultures, learn about different ways of life, and gain a better understanding of the world. Secondly, Traveling can help people step out of their comfort zones, face new challenges, and build their confidence. Finally, traveling can be a great way to relax, distress, and revive oneself. In conclusion, traveling is not only a fun and enjoyable activity, but it is also an essential experience that can provide individuals with valuable life lessons, personal glow, growth, and unforgettable memories. Let's see. Topic is importance of traveling. This is the way. Then, when we write paragraph at that time what we have to get in our knowledge that are also called elements of a good paragraph to be good paragraph what we should include in our paragraph or what we must focus on let's see Topic sentence The first sentence of a paragraph should introduce the main idea or topic that will be discussed in that paragraph. This sentence should be clear, concise, and engaging, and it should give the reader a sense of what to expect in the rest of the paragraph. Then, in our paragraph, there should be supporting sentences, uh, which is also called body paragraph, or uh, the topic sentence, also called introduction of paragraph, body paragraph, or supporting sentences. The body of the paragraph should include several supporting sentences that provide evidence or examples to support the main idea. These sentences should be logically organized and should flow smoothly from one to the next then there should be unity all of the sentences in a paragraph should be focused on the same topic or idea each sentence should support and expand upon the main idea presented in the topic sentence that is called unity or sameness, continuous overflow. Then we must also focus on coherence. The sentences in a paragraph should be logically connected to one another, grammatically. Using transitional words and phrases that help the reader move smoothly from one idea to the next. Then we must write conclusion or concluding sentence. 
The final sentence of a paragraph should summarize the main idea and bring the paragraph to a satisfying conclusion. This sentence should be memorable and leave a lasting impression on the reader. Uh, these are the elements of good paragraph. Topic sentence, supporting sentence, uh, supporting uh, sentence should uh, include unity, coherence, then concluding sentence. Mainly there are five. Topic sentence, supporting sentence, unity, coherence and concluding sentences. Then our paragraph will be perfect. Then second question for writing first is imagine that you are going on a three-day trek during your vacation what will you do on different days write short paragraphs about your plans let's see model of paragraph I am planning to go trekking to Gokyo during my upcoming holiday. I intend to trek along 13 with my friends. Here is the itinerary. Day 1. We will start our trek from Tangboche Monastery early in the morning after taking a day off for sightseeing and preparation. I will take a scenic flight over the Nepali Himalayas to reach Lukla before kicking off the trek towards Pagding. We are going to carry some snacks and water with me to keep ourselves hydrated and energized throughout the day. We will thinking of taking some photographs of the stunning Himalayan panorama along the way. In the evening, we will reach Pagding and settle down there for the night first day is completed then day two we will wake up early and continue my journey to namche bazaar entering the sakarmatha national park we are planning to take a longer break during the day for accommodation in Namche and explore the Sherpa heritage and Buddhist background of Tangboche Monastery. We are going to visit the monastery to witness the magnificent panorama of the Himalayas including Mount Everest and Amadablam. We intend to capture some beautiful memories of the monastery and its surroundings. In the evening, we will set up our tent at the Perth village and cook a simple meal before settling down for the night. Day 2 also completed. Then, we will move towards the day 3. Day 3. We will wake up early again and start our journey towards Gokyo village. We are going to climb the Gokyo Ri to witness the enchanting Gokyo lakes and the panoramic view of the Himalayas. We are going to take a dip in the lake and experience the serenity of the surroundings after enjoying the 
breathtaking views. We will start our descent towards Dhole and end our journey back to Namji Bajar. In the evening, we will bid farewell to the Himalayas and head back to Kathmandu. Day 3 also completed. In this way, uh, we will we can write plans of three days trek. This is only the model. Uh, you can write about the Mustang, about Pokhara, uh, other places. So many places to be visited in Nepal and other countries too. Then uh, we will move towards the writing second of the first unit let's see the question write a letter to your friend describing your travel plans for your holiday this is in letter from same topic traveling or trekking but we will write it as a letter informal letter because we are writing to our friend Let's see. Banu Ten Tanahu. In the place of Banu Ten Tanahu, you can write your address. February 15, 2024. Dear Sophia, I got your letter yesterday. I am excited. In formal writing, we can write I am. Excited to learn that you are visiting Nepal. As per your request, I will be traveling to some places in Nepal. Besides that, I have my own plans during my holiday, which coincides with your visit to Nepal. Mm. Then, as you know, I love traveling and discovering places. During my holiday, this winter, I am planning to travel to Solokumbu. I plan to go there with my parents. Solokumbu is a beautiful tourist destination of Nepal in province number one. Uh, now, it can be replaced by in Koshi province it is called Koshi province mm. it is a Himalayan district this place is famous as the home of Mount Everest or it is in the lap of Mount Everest during my trip we will first go to Solukumbu via Tablezu. We will stay at my uncle's home for a day and night. My uncle's house is near Everest Base Camp at Chauri Kharka. We will enjoy the panoramic views during our stay here. Besides, we will absorb the ethnic culture and traditions of the Sherpa people. We also plan to study different art and architecture of temples and monasteries. The next day, we will visit the Sagarmatha National Park and enjoy the wildlife there. We will also go to Namji Bajar, Lukla and Gokyo. More importantly, uh, we will enjoy the magnificent views of Mount Everest. I hope there will be plenty of snowfall in these seasons of the year. After a week's visit to different places, we will come back to Chauri Karkar 
and spend a day at my uncle's then return home please share your travel plans in nepal i will arrange some time to go around with you hope to see you in nepal soon with love kashyap in this way we can write a letter to friend describing our travel plan these are very simple ways simple words now this is for grade 9 the students of grade 9 Mm. Unit one: current issues and mm. unit one: writing sessions, both writing one and writing two are completed. Uh, please, everybody, if it is useful. share to your friends and subscribe my channel thank you thank you for watching